P584 stroke 5, nearest and dearest, take 1. Starting, I mean, this meeting. What about Miss Nelly? You leave our Nelly to me. She won't like it. She'll know not about it, will she? What the I never hears. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what the art never sees and the ear never. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on, hang on. What the ear never sees and the eyes never grieves, the art never hears. <laughs> Thank you, Bertram Russell. Now, can we make a start? Yeah, the floor's yours. Now, I've called this extraordinary meeting to discuss our grave financial position. I, as the managing director, represent the management, and you two represent Labour. I bloody don't. I'm a Tory. <laughs> <laughs> Not Harold Wilson's Labour. Labour, Labour. As opposed to management, do you understand? No. Oh. We represent... I'll have to have him put down. We represent the lads. Oh, well, I, I don't mind doing that. Right, now, I've been going through the, the figures, and for the past 12 weeks, we've been losing money steadily. We've got to have a complete change of policy. <laughs> now, I suggest we scrub the 12 results and put all the money on the treble chance. That's a very good idea, young Eli, and I'm in favour. How about you? <coughs> Oi, Cheyenne. What? <laughs> Are you in favour of it? Oh, yes, I'm in favour of it. Right, that's carried unanimously. Now, the next item on the agenda are the bankers. I suggest Liverpool and Chelsea in the first division and uh, Pompey and Bolton Wanderers in the second division. And, hey, we've got to up our production, you know, and capture more of the overseas market. Oh, hello, Nelly. So this is your reproductivity meeting. Productivity. Now, and a bonny lot you look to. For your... The gnomes of cone. For your information, we've had a very profitable meeting. Oh, oh no, we haven't. We've got two more draws to go on. Very profitable meeting. There's no harm in having a little wager. I'm on a winning streak. Winning streak? You lost two pounds last week. When you bet the Archbishop of Canterbury would be the next pope. <laughs> well, I've done very well at the dog track. Oh, I know you've done very well there. I mean, after all, they've called the rabbit after you, haven't they? Well, I can't help it if I'm a sporting type, can I? Oh, no. You were very much a sporting type at the Labour Club the other night. You and Stan, betting on two pickled onions. Well, it was a new kind of game. Oh, it was a new kind of game, all right. Putting two pickled onions down a girl's blouse and betting five pounds which one would wriggle its way down and drop on the floor first. <laughs> How was I to know that my onion would refuse at the first hurdle? <laughs> well, anybody could see it wasn't a flat race. <laughs> Here, gamble your way through that. What is all this? The end of the month, stock-taking. I'm doing no stock-taking, standing out there counting cucumbers. You, I'm going to see you in that gherkin shed with your jacket off, counting every single gherkin. <laughs> and you, get your pitchfork and pitch into those pickle pickles in that pickle pickling shed. What the hell do you want? I've come to see you as manager at Transport Department. Transport Department? You're getting delusions of grandeur, aren't you? Well, I'm the head at Transport. Our transport consists of a broken-down car, a trapped-out horse and you. Transport, you make it sound like British Railways. Anyway, what do you want? Hey. I said, what do you want? Hey. Are you going bloody deaf? I said, what do you want? <laughs> hey, for the horse, hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh, well, why the hell did you say so? <laughs> I I'll get you, I'll order you some. Oh, cha. Hey, well, I'll not delay you, young Eli. You'll want to get on with stock-taking. <laughs> I've got news for you. Right. I'm not doing any bloody stock-taking. Miss Nelly won't like that. She will if I play my card right. How do you mean? I'm going to appeal to her maternal instincts. 
By the time I finish with her, she'll not only want me not to do any stock decking, uh -huh. she'll be took up your bedford day. <laughs> Go. Hey, you still here? Oh. Uh, get gone. Oh. And you, come on, get stir yourself. Oh, all right, Nelly. What's the matter with you? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a pounding in my head, you know. Oh, it'll go when you get into that gherkin shed. <laughs> Vinegar fumes will shift it. Ah. Uh, Act me right. Oh, oh, dear. Now oh, what's to do? Oh, 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 oh nothing. It, it'll go. What is it? it, it it's a pain, a pain. I think I've got a grumbling appendix. <laughs> well, if it's where you've got your hand, it's not grumbling, it's bloody rambling. <laughs> hey. Act I've got an ulcer. An ulcer? Yes. More like it's wind. A good daughter by camphorator sword will do you. <laughs> I need a temperature, that's what I need. Where's the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Thermometer out. <coughs> we'll uh, just dot it up a bit. There we are. What? <laughs> Don't be bloody dull now. 108, that's a bit hard. Have that down a bit. Yeah, then get this down, you. No, give me What are you sucking? I'm taking my temperature. Taking your temperature? Mm. Oh, Eli, you're becoming a proper hypercataract. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with you. Oh, probably all right. 103 is normal, isn't it? All you need. You are. 103. Hey. What? Is this you on here? Huh? Ah. Gee, heck. You're not well. I'm not well. Oh, no. How, how, do, you, how do you feel? Well, I, apart from the pounding in my head and the pain and the dizziness, I'll be all right. I'd better be on my way. No, no, no. No, no, not, not in your condition. Oh, well, as long as I can just stop on my feet. No, I'll no, be... don't try and be brave. No, no, no. You know, I, I've got all that stock taking to do, Nelly. I'll go and No, do it. no, I couldn't let you do the stock taking now. I mean, you're at that funny age. Am I? You know, we don't want you having a colour do we? No. <laughs> Besides, you know. We haven't paid for me dad's headstone yet. Oh, I don't want to be a burden, Nelly. Oh, don't say that. What? I can hear me dad now. Upstairs, in that room, lay lying on that bed. I don't want to be a burden, he said. And 24 hours later, they were lowering him down. Were they? Come on, to bed, you. Well, I don't want to be a nuisance. You're not a nuisance. You're poorly sick. Am I? Yes. Now, come oh. on. I want no arguments. Get off to bed now. Come on, put your arm round my shoulder. No, I can manage. Come on, I can manage. I'll help you now. Do as you're told. Well, if it'll please That's you. It. If it'll... Oh, 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 me me back. Come on, give us a lift. Oh. Not me, you fat head. That's right. I'm going to put him to bed. He's not well. I'm not well, you know. Oh, not well. I'm not well. <laughs> Oh, I'd die. Oh, lovely. Thank That's you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. what. I've got a one to you, young Eli. Cheers. Yeah. Hey, hey, hang on. Hmm? Hey, finish that. I don't smoke cigars. You do now. <laughs> Put this under here. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Love. I think the pain's easing a bit. Oh, that's good. I hope you'd like to get up for a bit this afternoon. Oh, I don't think it's eased as much as all that. No. Hey, you, Iowatha. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, puffing at that, sending smoke signals? <laughs> Give it to you, put it out. <laughs> you know, consideration. This is a sick man in the room. Yeah. There'll be another one in a minute. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Go and get that filled for him. All right, Miss Nabby. Dear, dear me. What's that? Medicine. <laughs> Medicine? Yes, our dad. One of our dad's cures, you know. It's Lemus's lightning linctus. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Well, it contains the exceptions of over 40 wild herbs. It cures colds, catarrh, asthma, bronchitis, lumbago, rheumatitis, and biliousness and f uh, flatulence. <laughs> Do you remove bloody stains as well? I'm glad. I'm glad that you've still got your sense of humour. Uh, yeah, drink that. Oh, it looks horrible. Oh, it'll uh, get you better. You won't get that on the national health, you know. Where did you get it? Corn market. <laughs> Between the black puddings and the foot ointment. You expect me to drink that? Why not? I've got buckles of it. And look at me. It's Go on, knock it back. Smells horrible. It's not for sniffing, it's for supping. <laughs> I've got, look what it says on the label. Now, look. 
It says, you can feel it doing you good. Who uh, can you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. can you feel it doing you good? It's diabolical. Oh, well, our dad swore by that. I'm not surprised he swore by it. <laughs> yeah, we want to get you better. Well... Well, I can see what if I can find out what's wrong with you, Andy. What here. are you doing now? I'm going to diagnose your case. <laughs> what the hell do you know about diagnosing people? Three years at the Royal Infirmary, weren't I? I should know something in three years, shouldn't I? Not as a bloody ward cleaner. <laughs> It's all in here. Arkwright's family doctor. Now, I just want to get to know your symptoms, and this book will tell me what to do. It's not as easy as all that. Uh... Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, they all use this method. Now, it stands to sense. They can't walk about with all those diseases in their head, can they? Can't they? No. Why do you think these posh doctors call themselves consultants? Because they consult. <laughs> and when they consult, what do they consult? They consult a book. <laughs> I've heard everything now. Oh, I can just see the royal physician in the royal bedchamber. A slight cold, Your Majesty? Hang on, I'll just go and have a quick shift here, Dark Rats household doctor. <laughs> Very funny. Well, this is serious. Carry on, matron. Well, now then, where did you feel the pain? In my belly. You don't have a belly when you're ill. You have an abdomen. <laughs> Pains in the abdomen. And uh, anything else? Yeah, I've got a very high temperature. High temperature. Feel sick? I did, now I've taken that bloody medicine. <laughs> no, sir. Um, well, any dizziness? Oh, I'm definitely dizzy. Oh, yes, well, that's nausea, dizziness and sickness. That should be the case there. Um, oh, how are you, Eli? What is it? Is it serious? Very. According to Dr. Arkwright, you're pregnant. <laughs> hey, 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 give it to me, bring this up. Come on, I'm bring me out. Yes. Oh, my belly button! <laughs> Nelly! I've got it! Take your hand off it! Get you some food. <laughs> have a nice... Settle down and have a nice bit of chicken, eh? Oh, lovely, yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll go and get your milk stout. It'll uh, build up your strength. Thank you very much, Anne, Nelly. Don't thank me, love. All I want to do is to see you get well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, young Eli. You cracked it! <laughs> Hey, chicken, milk stout, can't be bad, can it? I bet if I play my cards right, I'll be in bed for a week. <laughs> and they're not wrong with me. <laughs> There's no wrong with you now, blue eyes, but they damn soon will be. <laughs> That's right, Lily. Yeah. Now you know what to do, don't you? Yes. Now you don't don't make any mistakes, will you? Try do your best. That's right. oh yes, yes, yeah, Lily. You can get that out for me. I shall be very pleased. Thank you. To that. I'm sorry, Miss Nelly. I thought you were up at the house. I, I, I've got a delivery note. Oh, I hope it wasn't too heavy for you to carry. No. <laughs> I was poor young Eli. As if you didn't know, and as if I didn't know, and as if nobody knows. But I know, you know. Oh, yes. But he doesn't know, you know, that his blanket, his electric blanket, is switched full on and there's three electric fires burning under his bed. What for? I know how he lie. He's been simmering up there now for two hours with only Arkwright's family doctor to read. By now, he'll think he's got every disease under the sun. I wonder if it'll be under perspiration or sweating. <laughs> perspiration, I look up perspiration. Excessive perspiration is a fever. A fever, I've got a fever. Fevers, here we are. A fever is excessive perspiration. I know I bloody well got that. <laughs> but there's general malaise and achiness. I've got that. 
dizziness. I've got that. Riggers. I don't know what the hell they are, but I've got them. <laughs> the above symptoms are indicative of blackwater fever. I've got blackwater fever. <laughs> oh, dear. Blackwater, come in. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know. Terrible, I'm ill. Yes, I know oh, you're ill. Oh. Yes, I brought you some medicine. Oh, all this? Yes, all of oh. it. Oh, well. Oh, Nelly. Oh, I'm not well, Nelly. No, I know you're not well. That's why you're in bed. Oh, but uh, I'm really ill. Yes, well, uh, weren't you really ill before then? Oh, I was, yes, but I'm ill now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I've got black water fever. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fancy if that's a very bad complaint. I mean, uh, there was a fellow came in the infirmary with that when I was there, you know. His face was all swollen up and bulbous like yours is just now, you know. All right, how long was he in for? Oh, not long, only a couple of days. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? And then he died. Oh. <laughs> You're a bloody jokes, comforter you are. Get the doctor, get the doctor. Yeah, don't be so sudden. I've got to get the doctor all oh. right for you. Just a minute. That's it. It's downstairs now, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want, I want him to cure me, not smell me. He'll do both. Oh, oh, oh dear. Can he come up, Doctor? Oh, there you are, Nigel. Have you got everything? Oh. Well, put your stethoscope on. Oh, That's yeah. right. How, how yeah. is he? Oh, he's uh, absolutely yeah, uh, brainwashed. You oh. know. Well, I do hope I don't give the game away. Of course you won't. Oh. You look just like a real doctor. Oh, you look yeah. smashing. Oh. <laughs> it's good of you to cooperate. Oh, not at all. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to quite enjoy myself. Oh well, he's psychologically uh, <laughs> perforated. Oh, well, don't worry, Miss Blades. By the time I get through with him, he'll be positively petrified. <laughs> hey, it's moved. <laughs> no, it can't. It stopped. Oh, thank goodness, it's beating up here. Oh, oh dear. Come in, Doctor. Oh. Come in. Uh, oh. If, if you need me, I'll be outside. Don't leave me, Annie. Don't leave no, it's me. It's all right. It's all right. It's only the Doctor. Oh. <laughs> uh, very well, Miss Blades. Oh. Mm. Uh, now, Mr. Pledge, what seems to be the trouble? I don't know. You're the doctor. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, don't worry. We'll soon find out what's wrong. If it's any help, I think I've got all the symptoms of blackwater fever. Really? Yeah. Are you sure it's not yellow-coated colic? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't look that up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's breaking your fear, doctor. No, please, Mr. Pledge. <laughs> oh. What is it? What is it? Oh. What is it? Oh. Well, 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 let me have a look, let me have a look. Hey. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, what is it? What have you found? What have you found? Open wide. Uh, wider. Uh, wider. Wider. Are you coming inside? <laughs> oh. Doctor, say, say, say something. Who's your next of kin? <laughs> Doctor, tell me. I, I can take it. I can take it. I think I'll just have a little word with your sister in private. Goodbye, Mr. Pledge. <laughs> <laughs> steady on, Eli, now. Steady on, steady on. Steady on. You're all right. You're going to be all right. You're going to get better. Doctor never tell you anything. The way you're carrying on, you'd think you were going to peg out. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Doctor thought it best. Uh, what, what, what did he say? He said, uh, you'd have anything you fancy. <laughs> no, but I mean, about my condition, I'm going to get better, aren't I? Y yes, of course, yeah. What, what, what are you crying for? <laughs> I'm not crying, I know. I've just got something in my eye, that's all. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, Birkenair. Miss <laughs> Lily and Walter come to see you. Won't you sit down? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Walter, don't dash. Take it steady. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to cheer you up. Have you? Oh, oh. it does look bad, doesn't it? Yes. <clears throat> well, we're all here together, all the family now. Just like when my dad. Hey, go on. <laughs> when my dad what? We brought you some grapes. Black ones. <laughs> Are you going to eat her? Not now. A bit later. Oh, suit yourself. Honey, don't leave it too late. <laughs> mm, I'm glad I didn't give that black coat away. Mm. 
Oh, who does he remind you of? <laughs> Lay line there. Billy Myerscough. Billy Myerscough to a T. Mm -hmm. God rest his soul. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Nothing for you to worry about. What are you talking about? Billy Myerscough, black grapes, and the praying mantis here. <laughs> he hadn't taken his eye off me camel hair coat since he came in. Now, come on. Don't you get excited. You'll be having a prolapse. Now, <laughs> there's nothing for you to worry about at all. No. Everything's absolutely normal. Uh, yes, now, that's it. Oh, oh, hello, Vicar. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie in green pastures. Hey, hold on a minute. He leadeth me by the still waters. Hey. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, I, 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 I'm still warm. <laughs> yea, though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Well, you put the bloody wind up me. <laughs> Don't worry, my son. Always remember, Compared to the fires of eternity, this life is but a flickering flame. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to flicker a bit longer. <laughs> Lovely voice. <coughs> now, look, Harry, Eli, we've all got to go sometime. Uh -huh. And as my dad used to say, when the great reaper cometh with his scythe, it's no use ducking. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Pledge. <laughs> oh, that Cedric was very good. Yeah, he always fancied himself as an undertaker. <laughs> oh, he looked like Dracula. <laughs> oh, well, they were all very good. I reckon that must be the best performance the amateur dramatics have ever given. <laughs> well, we'll go see how the condemned man is oh, while we've been out. Yeah. Eh? He looks a bit peaky, didn't he, when we left, especially when Cedric got out his tape measure and started measuring him up. <laughs> peaky, he went green. <laughs> well, we'll go and put him out of his misery. I mean, this taught him a lesson it must have done, eh? He'll not be swinging the lead so often again, I'll tell you. Hey, Eli! <laughs> Eli, are you there? Can I come in? Hey, you don't think how it's happened to him, do you? <laughs> Not likely. It's <laughs> gone. Hey, he must have it up while we were out. Where the hell's he gone? <laughs> Where the hell's he gone? Hello. Hello, Nelly. Oh, it's you, Eli. Where are you? I'm at Manchester Airport. I'm booked on the next flight to the south of France. South of France? What do you want to go there for? Well, I thought I'd only got a few weeks to live, you know. I'd pop off abroad. I know you wouldn't be grudge me my last fling. Fling? Your last fling? See, give it to you. What you... Well, you know, I thought I'd look at the, the beauties of the world before I stepped out into the unknown. Oh, really? <laughs> Come back. There's no wrong with you. I can't hear you with these planes taking off. And don't worry about money. I've drawn it out of our joint account. Joint account? Yeah. Only money. Hey, where were you like? Oh, come on, I was only pulling your leg. Hey, what did she say? She's going bloody mad. <laughs> hey, there you are, that's for information received. <laughs> Thanks, Philby. <laughs> well, ta da, Nelly. I'll, uh, I'll drop you a line from the south of France on a postcard. So long, love. Hello, oh, is that the aeroplane? <laughs> <laughs>
584 stroke 5, nearest and dearest, take 1. Starting, I mean, this meeting. What about Miss Nelly? You leave our Nelly to me. She won't like it. She'll know not about it, will she? What the I never hears. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what the art never sees and the ear never. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on, hang on. What the ear never sees and the eyes never grieves. The art never hears. <laughs> Thank you, Bertram Russell. Now, can we make a start? Yeah, the floor's yours. Now, I've called this extraordinary meeting to discuss our grave financial position. I, as the managing director, represent the management, and you two represent Labour. I bloody don't. I'm a Tory. <laughs> <laughs> Not Arrow Wilson's Labour. Labour, Labour. As opposed to management, do you understand? No. Oh. We represent... I'll have to have him put down. We represent the lads. Oh, well, I, I don't mind doing that. Right, now, I've been going through the, the figures, and for the past 12 weeks, we've been losing money steadily. We've got to have a complete change of policy. <laughs> now, I suggest we scrub the 12 results and put all the money on the treble chance. That's a very good idea, young Eli, and I'm in favour. How about you? <coughs> Oi, Cheyenne. What? <laughs> Are you in favour of it? Oh, yes, I'm in favour of it. Right, that's carried unanimously. Now, the next item on the agenda are the bankers. I suggest Liverpool and Chelsea in the first division and uh, Pompey...